Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, down here in the lower left-hand corner. For those of you watching on Periscope and Twitter, we are also live on YouTube and Instagram, So, th or YouTube and Google+. Plus. As soon as I figure out how to get live on Instagram, believe me, I will let you know. This is our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never seen this before, thanks for dropping by. If there's anything that you would like to see on here specifically, please let me know. Send me an email at austin.onic at wru. G.com. You can also do a little bit with contacting me. You can go to wreg.com slash weather uh, if you'd like to find out a little bit more about what we offer from the News Channel 3 studios in downtown Memphis. Current conditions right here. Temperatures back in the lower 50s with plenty of sunshine. Plenty of sunshine today in the forecast bar here. Lower 70s for later on and temperatures tonight back in the mid 50s or so. And again, up here available all these different websites and social media networks available if you like to check out and see there. Beautiful sunshine this morning in and around the area of Ole Miss, showing some nice views of the track and field camera from the Oxford, Mississippi area this morning. Beautiful sunshine going on there from X Airbus driver webcam in Germantown. Very beautiful conditions and starting to see some sunrise in the backyard there. Very nice backyard pond. I wish I had something like that in my backyard. Windyke Country Club. Apparently we're having some loss of signal taking place there, but a lot of great conditions available there. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures will be very much on the mild side. We'll be back into the mainly mid to upper 50s or so by the time we hit about 10 o'clock this morning. We'll also continue to see some very mild conditions throughout the rest of the day. Winds coming in from out of the east-northeast, and that's going to help keep things a little bit on the cooler side for today. Not much of anything even in the way of cloud cover expected out there. High temperatures today will be back into the mid to upper 60s to around the lower to mid 70s, down into around portions of the area close to uh, Clarksdale into around southeastern Arkansas and back into northern parts of Mississippi. We may even see the possibility of numbers rising into the mid to upper 70s today. Very pleasant across the Mid-South. So if you have any outdoor plans, go ahead and keep them. Winds will be light and variable. A little cool this morning. Not doing too bad out there where it comes to the numbers out across much of the Mid-South. So just keep attuned to News Channel 3 for forecast updates into this afternoon this evening. Should be looking at mostly clear skies for later on tonight and into around News Channel 3 at 10. We're going to be seeing numbers back into around the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. Thanks to everybody for joining me on Periscope and Twitter if you're just tuning in. Rest of the evening and in to tomorrow. We're going to go all the way forward into around portions of tomorrow night. That's where we start to see some possible problems heading our way with maybe some showers and thunderstorms developing. Not tomorrow morning, not tomorrow afternoon, but tomorrow evening. That's where you start to see a large line of thunderstorms starting to show up. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting too. I'm going to pan up just a little bit here and show you this. As we look into the area tomorrow, we could be seeing a couple of these areas of storms doing this kind of bowing shape going on through a kind of a backward C shape like an archer drawing a bow. That means in these particular areas in northern parts of Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, as the system comes through, winds could dive down to the surface, kind of like what's called a derecho type storm. We could be looking at storms that will be causing a lot of wind damage. Maybe, again, the possibility of winds 60, 70 miles per hour plus that potential maybe they're into tomorrow so that's something that we're all going to have to watch out for now most of the energy the storm should be passing down to our south but parts of the area will be looking at that potential for severe weather the threat for severe weather today is nowhere even close to the mid-south area it is basically well back on over excuse me a second while i get my camera reset here the threat for severe weather today is way back over into around between oklahoma city dallas and down towards san angelo texas all the way down to the rio grande valley now, as we get into tomorrow uh, afternoon and evening, this is where we start to see a moderate threat of severe weather, pretty high threat for severe weather, southwest Louisiana and a good portion of southeastern areas of Texas. Now, we do not see anything like that here in the Mid-South area, but we do see the possibility of some severe weather late Sunday night. Notice that we have a slight risk category in the yellow across parts of areas of Phillips County in Arkansas. 
and back toward Coahoma and Quitman counties in Mississippi. That again is the slight risk category. The green shaded area is a marginal threat. It's a lower threat of severe weather. But here's the thing, it still means that severe weather may be possible. A limited fashion, yes, but it is still possible that we may see severe weather in the Mid-South late Sunday evening, right where we saw that bow echo possibility of storms coming on through. And that's what we're going to have to watch out for. Again, that's going to be late tomorrow night, Sunday night into very early Monday morning. Rest of Saturday looks very nice. No problems at all for the Mid-South area. So if you have any plans this morning out there, it is kind of chilly out there. We've got numbers in the metro area back in the lower 50s. Again, current conditions right here. And that's where we see, again, maybe the need for a jacket or a light coat. But the rest of the weekend not doing too bad. Now, the threat for severe weather as we get into very early Monday morning will be shifting away from us down toward the south to the east so Birmingham Montgomery Atlanta down to the east of Jackson Mississippi that's going to be moving away from the mid-south area and heading down toward the southeastern United States so that could be a bit of a problem and for the rest of Monday there will be that possibility of showers and thunderstorms for parts of the mid-south so we may be seeing that potential problem out there as well as we go into Monday so today not seeing anything tomorrow not seeing much of anything through the day evening and afterwards into around what you're seeing here for Monday Yes, there will be the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms out there, some of which could be on a strong to severe note, so we will be keeping a very close eye on that, so keep it attuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on that. Rest of the next few hours, numbers again, <clears throat> excuse me, not doing too bad back in the mid to upper 50s as we head toward early this morning and into the rest of the afternoon. We're not seeing anything showing up in the way of rainfall at this time and so far cloud cover looking good. Not much in the way of clouds out there throughout the rest of the forecast. Winds will also be a little bit breezy at times 10 to 15 miles per hour here and there but mainly sunny skies throughout the rest of the day. So if you have any plans for outdoors today that yard work you got to get done. Sorry to remind you about that but there it is. Heading into the rest of the evening. Pleasant heading out for a stroll, a picnic, getting downtown to walk the river or anything else you're going to be doing today. Outdoors looks good. So far also looking pretty good into tomorrow, but we also could see some more showers and thunderstorms the farther you go towards Sunday evening. So keep that in mind if you have anything going on for outdoors. Don't forget to download our News Channel 3 weather app. Whatever platform you've got, search WREG weather and you'll be able to download that for your phone. Stay up to date with weather as we keep you up to date on social media as well well i'm available on all these social media networks and don't forget about my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the east arkansas broadcast stations country 92.5 and oldies 102.3 and we'll keep you updated on that throughout the rest of the weekend if there's something you'd like to see us cover here whether it's climate data or weather around the world or whatever it is you'd like to see regarding mid-south weather please let me know i can do a lot to present weather and climate data and information about science to you here, but I can't do anything unless you let me know about it. So contact me through here at wreg.com slash weather. Email address is firstname.lastnameaustin.onic at wreg.com slash weather, and you can find out a lot more there, and we would love to know what you think. So please drop me a line and tell me what you would like to see on here so we can keep you updated throughout the rest of the Mid-South. We'll have another one of these forecast updates coming up later on tonight, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on that. We will be on a bit of a funny schedule again with the NCAA tournament tonight, so stay tuned for more forecast updates, especially online at wreg.com slash weather and also throughout these social media networks that you see on the screen as well. Live and direct on Periscope, Twitter, Google Plus, and YouTube. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your Saturday morning quick weather update, our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for more information coming up throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3, on air and online, and thanks for joining us for this morning's update.